Hey everybody, it's Captain C.A. Richardson, and I have been getting a lot of questions on how I anchor my skiff on the beach to catch tarpon. And in this clip, I'm going to teach you how to do it, all the components that's necessary. So before we get this clip going and I reveal to you the components that are going to make a great anchoring system for beach tarpon, let me preface it by saying this. If you're fishing extremely shallow, four to let's just say six, seven feet of water, you're going to be just fine on your power pole. That's what I use. But in those situations or scenarios where you're going to be fishing primarily eight and a half, nine feet of water, all the way out to 16 feet of water, which is a big majority of the time, you're going to need an anchor ball system that has a bungee attached to it. Now, I keep everything in one of these fish baskets. These are very durable. They don't rust. It's easy to clip them to your polling platform, or if you're in a bay boat, put them in the corner of the, the cockpit, and they don't you know, mar the, the deck or, or scratch any of the gel coat. So they're, they're perfect, they're cheap, they're ideal for putting, uh, putting all the components in there. Next, in this next clip, I'm going to stretch all this out and show you exactly what you need. Guys, it all starts with a 12 pound sea claw anchor. This is brass and stainless. I've got a stainless shackle hooked to it. And then I've got 25 feet of 3 8 anchor line. Now, as I move up my anchor line, because I have an 18 foot skiff that's very light, you'll notice right here where I connect the bungee, the ball, and the anchor line, I've got shrink wrap here. And I've got a lightweight float ball that I use as a pitch ball off my boat. The last little stretch that I have here is a bungee. And the bungee stretches. This is what gives me that comfort back and forth shock where I don't have the boat picking up and slamming back down, making a lot of noise. It's quieter, it's way more comfortable, and it's quick because I've got a stainless carbiner attached to it. I clip it to the cleat on my boat. When we hook a tarpon, the client or myself unhooks, throws it overboard, and then we power up the E-Tech and we follow the tarpon and fight it off the beach. It's that simple. The ball acts as a marker. It floats just like so if we're in eight feet of water and lets me know where my anchor position is. All I have to do, come back to the ball, grab the line, clip it to the cleat. We're all set up for the next round. It's that simple. All these components, you can probably get everything here for under 300, 350 bucks. It probably would behoove you to write your name, property of, on the ball so no one picks it up while you're busy fighting a silver king. So if you're in shallow water, shallow enough to use your power pole, use your power pole. If you're in a little bit deeper water and you're looking for that forgiveness that you can get with a shock cord, an anchor line, and a really heavy duty 12 pound sea claw anchor, this little system here will serve you well. I hope this tip will put more tarpon alongside your skiff this summer. Captain C.A. Richardson, signing off from Flats Class YouTube.